All right, this is a video for KC1ESZ. Uh, this is my ZEP line that's fed into the shack. You can see I just drilled two holes and they go right, right into the shack. That's the outside wall. I got a little rope to keep the strain relief. You need to keep it away from all, especially in metal objects. And it goes right up to the, up to the top. There you go. So that's feeding the center of, uh, of about um, 230 foot, 160 meter line. I use this on all bands. You can see that's just open wire line. We'll go inside and look at the, look at the uh, tuners in a little bit. There you go. Nothing, nothing special. Just fed right into the shack through the wall. Here's the other one. This is the second one I have. Just comes out the. This is the oldest one actually. It's kind of a mess and. Needs to be updated, but tell you it still works pretty good. It comes out of the, uh, the shack window, goes up. You can see it goes down. It's resting on the clothesline. It must have fell a little bit. And this is feeding about uh, um, uh, less than uh, less than uh, probably around 170 foot. But with this one, you could see is if you look. Yeah, let's see if we can find it on the camera. There's a there's a line coming straight down. I have the both tips bent um, and 25 feet, uh, 25 feet of it's bent straight down on either side so it could fit between the yard. It's going between that pine and across. And you can see the other one right there. You can see where they cross. Of course, the first one is a little bit higher than that one. And the 25 feet are bent down on each side. But ultimately, that's what you want on a big tower and stuff. But uh, I tell you, I still, even with the tower and everything, I still use these things. And it's all homebrew open wire line. Let me uh, let me show you the in, the uh, the mechanics of that. Okay, that's going to be a little bit of a mess here, but we just want to get the point across, so we don't we don't care about the mess. So this is what the what it is. It's essentially this uh, three quarter inch sprinkler sprinkler pipe stuff. Let me put the light on here. Made available at your home supply stores, and I drilled a hole. You drill a hole to accommodate the wire and um, use the diagonal cutters and snip off uh, so it comes in an angle and ends up snapping the wire right in. So you can see that's in there pretty tight. Let's see, let's see if I can see how it snaps out. It's pretty tight in there. But if you just make it enough, it'll just snap out and snap in. But I tell you, even though it seems to be pretty easy, this stuff will stay together for quite a while. And it just snaps in and make them all the same size, and you get some awesome, uh, awesome open wire line there. So um, that's all it is. That's that's what I got. Uh, feeding both of the uh, both of the units outside that we just showed you, and um, you got enough to build another one. So um, that's what we got. Pretty fun stuff. Hey? These little cutters that are available commercially to cut that sprinkler pipe, but you don't necessarily need those. I think I got. Let me see if I got it. Yeah, I got a big spool in the back there, some more, so we, I can even I can even dig some more up or cut some more out if uh, if necessary. So, um, yeah, pretty fun stuff. I highly recommend. If there's one antenna I could have, it would be this one. One of these probably cut it to. The, the, the better performer is the uh, 40 meter extended double zep, which is about 87 feet per leg, or uh, you know, 9, 18, 170 something feet across. Of course, I have it bent down 25 feet on each end, but that's what I got. I guess it wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you the whole thing. So, mine's a little different, it doesn't go right into a tuner. I have uh, actually homebrew transformers that I wound. So that goes, there's the two holes in the inside, and that's where it comes out to the, the big 160 meter dipole. I just got wire nuts there, and then I got that to coax. So the coax line is pretty short. It goes right into the antenna tuner here. And I got a little, I got a little cheat card, so I know uh, what the band settings are for whatever band I'm on and what antenna I'm using. So that's one, and the other one comes into a similar thing, it's a different transformer, um, same thing, homebrew transformer, um, similar to a Ballon, and short piece of coax into into the uh, other antenna tuner, 
and that same cheat card has uh, all the band specific settings so um, this that actually the lower shoulder one works better on 160 meters than the 160 meter antenna so I pretty much leave it there all the time as you can see so um, so I got the two antenna tuners and of course all the mono band antennas and and stuff and we try to try to use both radios um, only one's fired up right now but usually we've got one radio in each year so thanks for uh, thanks for watching